Aida Richmond did my first work for our first work camp together that we did. Work camp Miami. Miami. Mm -hmm. Miami. So since then we've been traveling all over the place. So um, here's Aida. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, we did not plan that. It just so happened that they were like, hey, would you introduce her? And I was like, oh, okay. Well, you'll see him in here. As he said, um, I'm Aida. And besides being a total goofball, I am a mom and a grandma. I am an entrepreneur. I own Love Built Life. Um, it is a creative arts and lifestyle company, as he explained. And um, so, like he said, I'm an artist, a designer, blogger, a speaker, and I build websites for startups on a budget. So. All those websites that all you developers get, it's too low for you, I'm the one who takes them. I'm the one, I'm send them my way. Um, and this is my boyfriend. As you can see, I have a thing for Wapu. But actually, as you already know, this is actually my boyfriend. He's the one who introduced me to the WordCamp experience, and he is his own, he's a speaker on his own, in his own right, and a volunteer, and an organizer. As he said, we've been to several work camps. We've started, and my first one was in Miami this year. So I'm just, I'm a newbie for, you know, to the world of work camp, but not anymore, because this is my fifth work camp, and this will be his seventh this year. So why work camp in the first place? Work camp is for everyone. It's for newbies and professionals, so it doesn't matter. Um, as you've heard several times throughout today, the WordCamp experience, the WordPress community is welcoming, so everyone is welcome here. And WordCamp is fun. So you meet all kinds of people from all over the country and all over the world. So anyone here from another state? See, already, where are you guys from? Georgia. Georgia, okay, anyone further away? Well, we're from Florida. So, and you also meet people from all over the world. So we already know that there was someone, anyone from out of the country here? Well, we know from earlier there was someone that's from South Africa. So I actually got to meet someone from Nigeria. That's Catherine Egwali from Nigeria, and um, Carol Olinger, who's from the German Eiffel. And we just came from work camp San Jose in Costa Rica. You also get to geek out. I don't know if there's any fellow geeks here, but we are that couple, as you can see, okay? I do the whole WordCamp thing. We wear matching shirts. We just love the whole experience. And plus, it's fun for the whole family. So here you'll see a picture of me and my youngest daughter um, at WordCamp Jacksonville. And come on, who doesn't love swag? So I have, this is my uh, lanyard. As you see, I have it on here. Um, this is the back of William's car, so that's just the back. There are sides, and every time he gets new stickers, there's more that goes on there. So um, even when we were talking about getting another car, he was like, as long as there's room for my stickers, okay? <laughs> so you get all this knowledge, as Nathan said earlier, for one incredible price. We've heard this several times today, but it's the truth. Um, you get the swag, the food, the snacks. Um, access to all this useful information. There are people who have so much good knowledge here. You also get the after parties. Um, and there are other conferences that are so much more. Uh, William happens to be a teacher, and we were listening to someone giving a conference for teachers in the middle of the summer where they are on a budget. The conference is $250 just to attend. It does not include travel, food, or hotel. That's just to attend a conference. And the networking possibilities here are endless. You can hobnob with big wigs, heavy hitters, many of which are well known in the WordPress community. Um, here I'm in a picture with Bernard Abala of Think Strategy. He was just a really wonderful present, uh, presenter in uh, Atlanta. I'm also there, uh, the picture there is of Joshua Striebel. He's the CEO of Pagely. I met him in Miami. And he's just a down-to-earth kind of guy. I was able to talk to him and his wife, and it turns out that he's also an artist. And then, of course, our own Nathan Ingram, who, if it wasn't for him and saying, hey, go ahead and give it a try and apply to be a speaker, I would not be here talking today. So if you've never heard him speak, you should go to WordPress TV, look him up. 
His speeches are, his talks are really encouraging, informative, and engaging. So I mentioned to you that you meet people from all over the world, right? So they also might be big wigs in the community or in their field. So again, this is Carol Olinger. She's a, this is in her words, a true WordPress community junkie, passionate WordCamp attendee, volunteer, speaker, and organizer. She's also the WordPress community manager at Plesk. And she and her dog, lucky girl, have their own WAP who made for them. So if you ever meet her, she's also a really down-to-earth person. And she got involved because of her husband. This again is Carol, um, Catherine Iguali. And C Catherine is a five-time best-selling author at Amazon. She's also the number one best-selling author, uh, number one best-selling author, multi multi sorry, multiple award-winning self-publishing and business fast-track coach. Those are her words. And we met Catherine by just offering to volunteer to take her around when she came to Jacksonville. So that's how I met her. The after parties are another way to connect and have more fun. They're casual, laid back. You could just make connections just talking to people. Um, here, me and uh, William got sketched at uh, WordCamp Atlanta. The middle picture, I met Carla Campos, was actually in Miami, but I met her in Costa Rica. We actually got to talk. I found out that Carol is um, part Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Um, she's also from New York. I'm a New Yorker, so we connected. She's like, hey, I have a conference coming up. Why don't you come and speak? Sure, I'll come. Um, and Catherine and I, at the after party, just sitting around talking, we actually became real friends. So she and I still keep in touch uh, via Facebook. So again, free or nearly free information. For $20 a day, this is a bargain. So you get workshops and lectures like this all day long, and in some cases, three days. Other WordCamp attendees sharing their experience. So Happiness Bar, if anyone hasn't been there, take a look at that. WordPress.tv. If you miss any of the talks here that you wanted to see, you can go ahead and go and see them there. Plus, the more you go, the more you learn. But there's more. You'll be the first to know, be in the know about what's going on in the WordPress community. So Gutenberg, we all sat in on some kind of Gutenberg talk today. Um, inspiration is everywhere. You'll find tons of ideas for content, blogging, tweets. If you don't have an idea, sit down with a blogger. They'll give you some ideas. And volunteering can open even more doors because you get to speak to even more people. So you guys get it. You've been here all day. You already know all this. You've heard it several times. So now, what do you do with all this information? What do you do with all this? So the first thing, while you're here, if you haven't already, visit the sponsors, okay? It's not just about the swag and the goodies, although those are fun. They actually have helpful information and sometimes they're really cool people. So here's a picture of Richard and Claudia of Pressable who are not here, but they're really cool people. So if you ever happen to see them, stop and talk to them. They're really nice to talk to. Um, and if the, the sponsors are not here, if they don't have a table here or they don't have people walking around, check them out, go on the website see what they have to offer. It actually might help your company. Also, while you're here, start posting. And this is the interactive part, OK? So if you're not sure what to post, just some few ideas. You can post your favorite quote for today. Maybe somebody said something you found interesting. Um, take a cool picture. If you want right now, you can stop, take a selfie. Go ahead. I don't mind. Pick up your phone, take a selfie, OK, and share it. If my um, Twitter is at Love Built Life, you can tag me, hashtag me Love Built Life, or you put at uh, Love Built Life. William has my Twitter up. The first person that comes up on my Twitter was the gift. Okay, so post right now. Share a video of your experience. Just talk to, to, you know, talk to whoever, make believe somebody's watching you, say what's going on, tell them what's happening. Did you have an aha moment? Did something click for you today? Let me tell you, if you don't want to forget it, post it. Because then you'll remember, like, oh, yeah, that's right. I want to remember that. And don't forget, use hashtags and symbols, and symbols um, the at symbol to tag people. Also, while you're here, talk to other campers. Take a minute. 
And then, you know, when it's more people, it's a little easier. So what I was going to do is offer you all to talk to each other. But if you, since it's so spread out, I won't. But take a minute. When this is over, you're going to have a few minutes before you go. Just walk up to somebody and say, hey, how are you doing? I'm Aida. How's it going? How's it happening? A big smile. You know, the, you, anybody know what the number one pickup line is? Hello. <laughs> That's the number one pickup line. So just say hello. And then not to pick anyone up, but just, hey, it might be new business. I've gotten a lot of new business just talking to people in WordPress, in, um, in the Happiness Bar and here at WordCamp. OK? Have a web-related issue. You know, everywhere else, someone's going to charge you. Sit in the Happiness Bar. Let's tell you for free how to fix your issue. Um, share your own knowledge. A lot of people here have knowledge about content building, Twitter, Instagram, WordPress. Share it and ask questions. And if not, if you're a little shy, just sit there. Sometimes I am a little shy. It doesn't mean I seem that way, but I can be. I'm just listening. And before you know it, someone is talking shop, and you're like, oh, and they'll see you listening, and they'll start talking to you. That's another way. And tomorrow, if you're here, sit with someone new at lunch and get to know them. So when it's over, what's next? Continue posting. Don't stop. Keep going, OK? So what was your favorite quote from the keynote speaker? Uh, what was your favorite workshop? Post more pictures. I'll talk about the venue itself. If you're new to Birmingham or to the area, walk around, take some pictures. Maybe tonight, if you go into the bowling alley, take some pictures of people bowling and share that. Um, make sure you tag the speakers, the organizers, the sponsors, whenever it's appropriate. You don't want to just do it willy-nilly, but if it's appropriate, if you sit one's in a picture or you think they'll want to know, I had a great time and we're at Camp Birmingham. Tag the sponsors, tag the speakers, tag the organizers. So what's the saying? How do you eat an elephant? Anyone know? One bite at a time. So there's so much information. So once you gather all this, if you're like me, you're taking notes, and you're taking notes, and you're meeting people, and it's just a lot. It's a lot to break down. So the first thing I recommend is immediately, once you get home, speakers share their slides, get them right away. Because some of them only share them for a few days. So you want to get them, review them. Um, highlight the most important things in your notes. So I go over my notes, and with a highlighter, I actually highlight it and then ask myself, how do I plan to use this information? Because there's no use in getting it if you're not planning on using it. Um, send out emails. So if someone said, oh yeah, let's connect. Connect. Actually send an email. So let them know, hey, it was great meeting you. And um, when you get a chance, let, let me know. Oh, hey, you said you were going to send me some referrals. Let me know. Here's my information. I'd love to know more. Or send me more information about your company. Follow up. That's the most important thing. Follow up. What I like to do whenever possible, if you give me your business card, I put it in my book, I write it down, and then I write notes about you. Things that I remember. Oh, yeah, she's got three kids. Oh, yeah, she likes this. Because otherwise, I'm going to go home, I'm going to look at the card and go, I don't remember. I'm going to be honest. I won't remember. Um, so that's, uh, you could do it in a book or put it in your phone. Just take a quick picture of that business card and put notes. If um, I, I have an Android, I don't use I anything. Um, but in my Android, we have Google Notes. I just take a picture and put it in the Google Notes. These are the notes that I want to remember. So just go ahead and conquer that beast. This is the last one, I promise. No more networking. But I'm a business person, and networking is how I build my business. That's the best way is to get to know people. So follow up, follow up, follow up. Invite your new contacts to like you or follow you, and make sure you reciprocate. Don't say follow me and don't follow back, OK? Consider collaborating in the future. If you're an artist and I'm an artist, let's do something. If you're a web builder and I'm a web builder, like I told you, some people are like, oh, I've charged $5,000. Well, I don't. <laughs> I'll send you my $5,000 clients if you send me your $500 clients. How's that? We could do that. Um, Send, it was a nice to meet you letter or email like I mentioned before. Go to WordCamp meetups in your city. And if they don't have one, start one. They talked about it earlier. It's easy to do. Just go ahead and start one. And make plans to go to another WordCamp. Most importantly, 
keep going to word camps. They're fun. Apply to be a speaker. You don't have to have any experience. Talk about what you know and then consider teaming up with another speaker. And don't forget, like I said, to volunteer. Everything here is volunteer. Um, the people here are not getting paid for what they're doing. They do it just because they love to do it. Okay. So I know that's kind of quick. <laughs> my first, this is, this is actually my first time talking. So if you have any questions, I'm here for you. No, nope, no questions. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I guess I was a little faster than I thought. I was trying to be slow. I figured if I gave myself a minute per, that would give me 25 minutes, but I was kind of going kind of fast, so yeah. So you guys have more time if you want to go and follow and sit in another one if you'd like. Just, um, I'll be in the happiness bar if you can change your mind, if you have any questions. And don't forget to follow us. We are at, I'm at Love Built Life, and William is at my quest to teach. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.